Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Fatima. And this is Muhammad. We are almost nine years live in Bangalore, India. And guys, if you are new, please support me with your subscribe, like, and comment. Yes, today we are going to talk about first shock and effect and the differences what we faced in India. There was there are a big list we have prepared <laughs> for you to explain the shocks, our differences, different cultures, different like whatever different is there we are going to tell you one by one yeah so make sure to watch this video till the end the next shot was about the food all the food in india is spicy but in iran it's not like this so uh, we can say like in iran uh, we prefer to be raw for example mutton if we want to make a kebab only onion and salt that's all maybe a little bit black pepper just because for the smell otherwise we don't put like masala we don't put curry we don't put nothing raw yeah. we like to ha get the smell of the meat itself the i said like maybe sometimes saffron also we have but in india for example you have uh, many different type of kebab with the different uh, spices so in iran we use for the all these things maximum curd cream potato all tomato paste this so we don't use any spices at all and one more thing was here one thing was uh, crazy for ourselves when we went to buy the chicken so uh -huh. wherever we used to go we used to yeah. see uh, those uh, alive chicken they used to take <laughs> they used to cut and uh, make it chop it to the pieces and give it to us so i have never tried in my life maybe in some villages we used to go our grandmother she used to make but here then again maybe after a couple of months uh, one tender has started yeah after we come to know about that tender till today after nine to ten years we are buying the chicken from the same shop yeah. always like seven yeah, kids like that mutton also uh it was like very tough our friend used to take us some like clean area to buy the mutton and all but now today we are getting from lulu market is very good very fresh price yeah. is also good next like um, when we went to the grocery shop the the different type of the vegetables we saw till today we don't know what and how yeah. to use those vegetables for cooking we don't know because it is not available in Iran. no no many of them maybe if i go to grocery shop 10 item is not available in Iran, and that is because of the place and always uh, it's not related to the season those vegetables are available in the yeah. grocery shop but in iran it is like some vegetable like some. green beans it is available only in some particular season like uh, green chili are available in some particular season otherwise it will price will be very expensive it is yeah. if it is not in the season and the uh, tomato will be a little bit expensive during the winter season and next one is like um, in Iran people will have for different type of food and gravy they have a ready like fried vegetables in the freezer or like fried onion yes fried fried onion the frozen the one storage in, the, uh, in the freezer is always available whenever you want to cook the food little bit you will put on the food or mutton chicken always frozen is a fish frozen is available one thing very good it is about india is people are buying fresh i have not seen anyone to use the uh, yeah, from, freezer from much when we came to india and i saw the people using fresh i try to use uh, fresh uh, everything like onion i don't stretch the fried onion in the refrigerator and using fresh daily it so was for example good. chicken we buy like 
seven kg, six kg, we just keep it in the freezer. Yeah. That is like in Iran, everybody do. Like like not daily going to the shop and purchasing. We want in a week we will buy and we will keep. Maybe in two weeks we use it like that. And the next one was about uh, vegetarian people. We understood uh, there are so many people are vegetarian, but in Iran it is not like this. See, basically, uh, I can say we don't have a main course food, vegetarian, veg, veg food. We don't have. We have veg side like Mirza Qasemi, Kashke Badamjan. These are sides which will be served separately with the kebab or something. So yes, we have heard the people are vegetarian, but we have not seen. So once we came here, we had a friend. Her name was Sefide. She was a meat lover. <laughs> Basically, they are from like Lor, original Iranian like like the oldest ancestor of the Iranian people are they call lore they are not even eating chicken only mutton so once we came to India we saw the vegetarian people we saw paneer in the food yeah. first time we saw fat paneer in the food first time so basically we take the salted paneer for the breakfast we don't take it for the we don't put the gravy and all so we start trying those things and it was very tasty very and tasty. nice but still I'm not considering that the main but food but I like but it is tasty and I'm also like it see like veg noodles like like for example biryani how can you eat the veg biryani one of uh, my favorite Indian food is uh, Paneer butter, but, mm. butter, 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 it is very tasty. Yeah, it is very tasty. Very tasty. Then there is a butter kebab also. That also I like. But one thing, there is a. We went to barbecue nation. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I saw someone is having a pineapple <laughs> kebab, watermelon kebab. Watermelon was there yes. also. Watermelon also. I was thinking. Why? Why did you come? <laughs> How it's possible? Pineapple kebab? Pineapple? See, if you go to Italy and put the pineapple on the pizza, they will kill you right away. They will kill you. It's a kind of insult to the Italian people to put the pineapple on the uh, pizza. So here also, I can say it's an insult to the kebab. An insult to the barbecue, putting the pineapple on the kebab, on the coal and make it kebab. Anyway, uh, every human being has a right to choose to be a veg, non-veg, and exactly. behind every decision, there is a big, long time of thinking and mentality. And um, you know, if uh, we want to be vegetarians, then we have to take a lot of vitamins and all those things because the, how will you provide the protein? Okay, eating beans and all. Still, you need some meat for the strength. And the next one was about the... There are so many different languages in India. Uh, I think 23 languages. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But I know many languages. Language means with the writing. Yeah, with the With writing. the alphabet. Yeah. And in same country, separate even, book in the school. Yes, and Fatima is reading in the school Kannara and Hindi, Hindi. So and English and English. Yeah. So personally, I understand Torah, Torah, Sulfa, <laughs> Sulfa, <laughs> Hindi and Kannara. And the next one was about the many many festival. Yes. So, yeah. There are so many festival and vacation also. Holy, like Holi, Diwali, Dasara, Dasara, then uh, Onam, Onam, which is for Kerala people, and many other like Ganesha. Yeah, Ganesha. Then many, 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 many are there. Completely. Yes. 
But uh, it um, was so cool and fun yes, for us. Yes, because we enjoy. Yeah, we enjoy. We enjoy all these things, all these festivals. Then here, New Year, Christmas, all, yeah. all, all we are enjoying. And the next one was about the rain. Oh, <laughs> see, in Iran, okay, rainfall is there, snowfall is there, all these things is there. But the way their rain, you love to walk under the rain, very small drop, very slowly coming. You enjoy walking. <laughs> I swear, first time, uh, I think after one month I came to India, I went to Mumbai. I went to Mumbai with my friend to submit like a document to the Iran embassy. Everything was cool. Everything was okay. Suddenly, Suddenly <laughs> I felt the sky came to the down. I was within maybe 10 seconds. I was from here to the down full wet. Wet means wet. Like somebody uh, is trying to wash me like that. Then, and umbrella is not a useful in umbrella, that situation also. You hold the umbrella, rain will come from the this side, from this yeah. side. Actually, I was having the umbrella, but because of the wind, Baba, one drop of the rain is like this much. <laughs> and it is very good, actually. And because of this belt, this belt is like that. And in Bangalore, when the rain comes, I say, if this much of rain comes to Iran, Flood will happen. Flood will happen. And the soil of the India is like it absorbs the water very quickly. It absorbs the water very quickly. I was in the beginning, we were very scared of oh, so much of rain and heavy rain. Yeah. <clears throat> heavy rain. So it was that yeah. was also weird for us for at us. the beginning. And the next one was about the days not fighting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> See, if you search in the Google, ah. most angry people in the world, most really? angry, yes, most, most yeah. angry, uh, they are maybe uh, rank number one or rank number two. Oh my God. <laughs> most angry people in the world, Iranian yeah. people. We are so dangerous. <laughs> now then you see, we have lost our temper because of the many thing, wrong thing which is happening to our country people doesn't have patience all those things so it is you know if you are you get angry you don't have a nerve it's all because of the your around situation so i came to india again in the beginning till today till today really till today. i have not seen fight in okay art. If someone is using bad word with the other person, they just stand in front of each other and just shout and say bad word, this thing, that thing. But there is no touch. No touching. No touching. Irani people, <laughs> they don't talk. They talk with the hand, with the head, with the <laughs> leg, like that. And uh, I really realized Indian people love movies. They are real. Love movies. See, actually, we were in Iran. I think maybe 10 times I have watched Bhagavan, yes. Gulistan, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we watched uh, Shole, Jabbar Singh. Singh. We watched maybe, I think, 20 times. TV was showing. Uh, then many other Indian movies. But in India, people are crazy about the movie. Crazy about the movie. That's why the Bollywood industry is somewhere like very income of the Bollywood is very high. So one next thing was about like indoor plant. Yeah. Yes. In Iran, we have ourselves a greenhouse. So we have to keep certain condition for that plant to grow. Okay. But in India, you, you will see, see outside it is growing itself very naturally. It is growing. And it was really so weird for us. Yes, I said, Baba, we are How is possible? <laughs> in Iran, for the, the uh, for the like, buy the fertilizer, do this, put antifungi, make a climate uh, in the greenhouse. 
But it, it's year. because of the climate. climate. In yeah. Iran, we yeah, have a winter. If snow comes, the plant will die. So that's why it's not possible it's to not keep possible. the indoor plant in outside. Exactly. And one more thing was like uh, street food. Yeah. Street there food. Are so there are like many street food in India. And I, I think it is India is very famous for that also, uh, uh, street food. In the beginning, I was never tried. But now I am the fan, big fan. Which is street food? Any. <laughs> like uh, Pani Puri, those uh, name is, name, name I don't know. They crush the sambusa to the Chata. pieces. Huh? No, no, something Puri, Puri Muri, something. Name I don't know, but I love all the, now I love all the street foods. What's about Pani Puri? Pani Puri I love, but <coughs> one thing I don't like in Pani Puri, that water they put inside. Yeah, that is so bad. I, th I don't uh, like it. In Iran, we have a street food, but... So less. Very limited street yeah. food. Basically, people are going to the coffee shop, restaurants and all. But here, street foods are like crazy. And the next one was about the Indian food, especially in Bangalore. I don't have an idea about the north of India. Um, Indian food is very oily and gravies. Yeah, gravies. And they use the ghee, yeah, ghee. ghee in the food and it's so oily. And it is so, so, so oily. And, uh, if I want to eat uh, the outside food daily, really I can't uh, eat the Indian food because of the extra oil. She yeah, will become yeah. 100 kg after one month. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. And one more thing till today, I'm still doubting what is that? Like the newborn baby, yeah. small kids. We see they put something black color here, yeah, black color it here. Was so also black large. color in the face. Then I heard someone was saying about it is nazar. nazar or something like that, but so other people in the all over other places they don't put they get nazar. So here they put to, they don't get nazar. Why? If you know, I have we have no idea about this. If someone comment below about this and explain us a little bit. Uh, and they use the black line. Yes. And, the, and that's it. Uh, exactly. The next thing was about same again the baby. When you take the pregnant lady for the sonography, they don't tell the gender of the kid, and that was also for us surprising, because uh, it happened to us when uh, my daughter born. We knew the gender when we were in Iran. We have done the sonography and we knew the baby is the girl. Because uh, when we came to India, I was almost seven months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then after that, next thing is in uh, many friends I have gone, they're like rich, normal, middle class, whatever. There is no tradition of keeping carpet. See, right now we are sitting on the floor and we are talking to you. We have a big carpet here and we are sitting. In Iran and I can say in Kashmir also, <coughs> People has people have carpet everywhere, bedroom, bedside, in the hall, in the kitchen, in the like a lobby. Where, wherever you go, you will see at least one a small carpet or something. Uh, in Kashmir, it, if you go, still they will keep wall to wall. They will cover everywhere with the carpet. So as you know, we are Iranian people. We love carpet. But most of the Indian people don't use the carpet. I have not carpet. seen, yes. But nowadays, people start buying and using these days. And one more thing was, here many people use a steel plate. Yeah. Very, a steel glass a plate. Steel, yes, glass, uh, the glass Everything. plate, many things. They use a, a steel. And one thing I really appreciate, I myself, I hate plastic uh, in, in Iran but unfortunately on, in Iran in Iran if you want to buy one pen 
For Take this, food. they will put in one plastic carry bag and they will give you. In India, one thing I really appreciate, I really appreciate, there is exactly. no plastic carry bag. I really appreciate. And the people are having some uh, cotton carry, carry bag. bag. So, you know, many carry bags <laughs> we have taken from here to Iran <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to use. Uh, then, you tell me what? Uh, about the power. Power is very expensive yes, here. Yes, power is expensive and there is a lot of tolerances there. Sometimes power will go. If the rain come, power will go for at least maybe half an hour, one hour. And uh, most of the people don't use the ring after getting married. Yeah, they I use the some the, uh, necklace. necklace and uh, some ring in the finger of leg. No, no, no. Yeah, finger of leg. Finger of it leg. was so weird also for us. Yeah, we were seeing like, why the ladies have ring in the finger of the leg it was first time in our yeah, life we have first, seen yeah. something like that so that was also something new for us then uh, after sometimes i saw a couple of men also they were keeping one copper color ring in the finger also yeah, yes so thank you very much guys yeah thank you thank you and for watching us i have a one surprise for you you know, I'm a fan of history, politics, geopolitics, and all those things. Uh, I'm preparing one vlog regarding the history of Iran and India. So, definitely, we will get uh, many comments regarding that. We got many comments regarding that. The people were saying, give a little bit history, the relation between Iran and India. So definitely I'm going to make that vlog. Uh, if you have any suggestion in which duration of the history you prefer to have this vlog. I personally prefer from the very long back, at least like 6,000, 7,000 years back till 20th century. In a maybe one hour vlog I will tell you. Maybe or two, three episodes I will let you know. Yeah. Thanks for watching us and don't forget to support us again us because we are making video together for you and see you in the next video bye bye